Performance is important. It's very important. If your code performs too slowly, it's a competitive disadvantage. However, the way to get good performance is not to worry about every little statement like this. It's to do proper performance profiling, find the hotspots in your program, fix those hotspots, and improve it in that cycle. In particular, you must never do anything for performance reasons unless you've measured before and after and assured that you've actually got a performance improvement. Because otherwise, the only thing you can be sure of is you made your program harder to read. So take performance seriously, but there's a good way to do performance improvement, and that requires a disciplined, measured process. Trying to guess at what the, the effects of calling a thing more than once is not an effective way to improve performance. Because 99.99 times out of 100, this is not going to have any appreciable effect on your program speed. It's a dictionary lookup on a very small dictionary, for goodness sake. It's not going to show up. Should it show up later on when you do your hotspot analysis, then yes, you should do something about it. And that's doing something about it will be something like this, caching the value somewhere. But the nice thing is, if you've broken your code down into ease, smaller pieces that are easier to read and understand, you'll be able to come up with much better performance optimizations than if you've got big blobs of code instead. People I know who are serious on performance, and I know some very serious performance people, they stress the fact, make your code clear, understandable, small functions, then performance optimize. And you've got way more options, and you can get a much better performance optimization as a result. Again, like all bits of advice, you can't be absolute about this. If this was doing I.O., for instance, I would be more concerned about it because I.O. is usually slow. Talking to the database is usually slow. Um, but even then, I'm not going to hobble myself for performance reasons without measuring before and after. Because otherwise, I'm just guessing. And I remember chatting with somebody about this who said they had this, got into this real tangle trying to optimize away some um, uh, database access code, and then they realized the slow part of their application was actually swing for some reason. And all that work they've been doing on database optimization was a waste of time. People are always fooled about what's slow and fast in a program.